This is Apollo, a semi-traditional stern narrowboat built in 1997 by G&J Reeves and fitted out by Welton Field. She's in nice condition. Uh, she was repainted in 2006, so the paint works good. She has a very good condition tonneau for the rear and cracked cover at the front. She offers lots of berths, potentially up to eight. You'll see as we go through the boat, and if you didn't want that many, there's lots of other options. Lovely boat, lots of character. The water's in the front hold there, where the gas traditionally sits. The gas in this boat's at the stern. And the well deck's enormous. It's full height, about six feet, four inches. So it's a bit of a step down, but lovely space in here. Storage under all of these lockers. The hole in the floor there is for a demountable table that's stowed in the boat. And glazed cratch boards. Through the glazed wooden doors into the boat. The saloon's huge, 11 feet 10 inches long, and there are two couch seat strokes, single berths either, si either side, both with storage under. It was designed to turn into a double bed. The fittings are all still there, but it just needs a board, and the backrests from the couches have been taken off the boat, so an infill mattress will be needed. But it's there for a huge double bed. Solid multi-fuel stove there. Some storage under the huge prep space in the kitchen. There's a footstool ottoman storage unit there and a nice chest of drawers. Head height in the boat six foot four inches. This is some LED lighting, it's the system that changes colour, flashes, probably makes the tea as well, I don't know about that, but uh, very clever. Mood lighting. Into the galley, this breakfast bar is huge, it's quite a social area for preparing things or playing games. There's room for two stools under the breakfast bar bit here. There's the single demountable table. I'll show you the double in a bit side hatch here. The demantle tables, the floor in this boat uh, is, is recent, it's new, so the fittings for demantle tables in the lounge, if you want them there, are on board, but not fitted, they just need putting in. The fridge is a shoreline 12 volt with an ice box, that sits under the stainless steel sink. These cupboards are all very deep, they're big cupboards on, on this boat. And the cooking arrangements, they're vanettes, a four burner gas hob, oven and grill. Another very deep cupboard. All the windows forward of, uh, of the bathroom are bus style windows with hopper openers. As we go through, you'll see they're all portholes. There's the double demountable table and glazed inserts for the two side hatches under the gunnels there. So down the corridor, the bathroom is the first on the left here. An oval countersunk sink over a cupboard. There's a radiator in here. The central heating on board is an Eberspacker system fired off the diesel tanks. That heats three radiators. The loser Thetford cassette. And there's a curtained shower over a, a hip bath. There is an inverter on board. It's a 1600 watt Waco. And all the portholes I mentioned, they all have these sliding panels to serve as curtains. Complete blackout, very useful. Good sized wardrobe here. There are the legs for the tables. That's my camera bag, that's not going with the boat, I'm afraid. And there's the third radiator. A fixed double, that's six foot four inches long by four foot wide. There's a pigeon box in the roof over, that has a storm cover over it at the moment, hence no light. Storage under the bed, of course. It's 
some useful cupboard space over the foot end or the head end, which depends which way you want to lie. And on into the vestibule, we're calling it. This used to be a second bathroom, but the previous owners have taken it out and turned it into a, a spare room. It's a lovely room, it could be anything really. Reading room, playroom for children. That's a spin dryer, 230 volt spin dryer. And there's another side hatch with steps and a roof hatch in here. Lovely room, offers lots of options. And the current owner put in this solid fuel stove. So stern cabin is a lovely room. Six foot four inches long, two single berths. And there used to be bunk beds in here. This is where I mentioned it could be an eight berth boat. The fittings are still here. She's taken out the board and the mattresses have gone, but very easily reinstated if numbers is what you want. And similarly, if you didn't want a, a bedroom with two single berths in it, you could turn this room into anything really. Reverse up the steps, what a glorious day. The stern deck six and a half feet long. The lockers on the left here house the gas and storage. On the right, there's a battery bank under there, along with some more storage. The engine under the deck boards, <coughs> excuse me, is a Lister Petter, serviced in September 2017. So that's Apollo. For further information, further photographs, and a fully downloadable brochure, go to www.rugbyboats.co.uk.